In this video, I will be demonstrating the principles underlying celestial navigation, specifically how circles of equal altitude intersect at the viewer's position, showing their latitude and longitude coordinates. To do that, I will be using a educational globe that you can draw on with dry erase marker. And I will also be using a drafting compass that I have a dry erase marker attached to. And I've also created a ruler-like scale that will allow you to determine the degrees of longitude at various latitudes on the globe. So let's begin. Okay, so the first star we're going to do here is Procyon, which has an altitude angle adjusted for refraction of 25 degrees, 12 minutes. Uh, which gives us a co-altitude of kind of pretty close to 65 degrees. And so we are going to then size our drafting compass to that. Now that's a fairly large degree, this drafting compass. So I've learned I have to move the marker way out to the end. It makes it a little bit more challenging. We'll do that. And then how we get the 65 degrees is we actually going to use the equator as our scale uh, because the number of nautical miles, the 60 nautical miles per degree will be exactly that at the equator. So that works very nicely as a, a scale for us. Uh, so I'm going to start out at the zero longitude line and then widen this out to just about as wide as it'll go. Make sure that when I press on it and it stretches out a bit that it ends up at right about at the right length which that's about right right about there I think uh, so that's our distance we need for that well now next we have to find where's our actual BGP our ground position which I have actually already done those calculations and our ground position for Procyon is at about uh, 5 degrees 10 minutes north and 150 degrees 27 minutes west. Right about there is where we want it, I think. So that is our GP for that star. Centering our drafting compass on the GP for Procyon. And we'll draw in our circle of equal altitude. Okay, so there we have our circle of equal altitude for Procyon. Okay, so next I'm going to do Arcturus which is not quite as large a circle in this case. Our elevation angle, altitude angle is 45 degrees, 41 minutes. So that means our co-altitude is just a little bit more than 44 degrees. And so we will size that up again, like we did with the previous one starting at zero longitude, measuring out to just a little less than 45 degrees, very conveniently one of our longitude lines here. So, this, this marked, get that right about there. Yeah, that's about right, I think. Right about there is good. So now we need to find the GP for Arcturus, which is at 19 degrees, 4 minutes north, and 52 degrees, 4 minutes west. So 19 would be just slightly below 20. So we're going to take the longitude scale for 20. That's that line there. And that's 45, so we're looking like right about here. And 
52 would be there. And then down about a degree. It's probably about there. Let's measure it and check. Yeah, it's about that. Write that in there. That is Arcturus. That's the GP. Okay. Next, we're going to center our drafting compass on the GP for Arcturus. And then draw that in. Draw that circle of equal altitude in. So there's that circle of equal altitude. You can see that it's got a couple places that it is intersecting. And then our final one is going to be Polaris. Basically right from the pole is where the GP of Polaris is. Um, and that actually results in a, a, a circle of equal altitude that will be a line of latitude. So Polaris is very useful for finding your latitude which then ends up being uh, 45 and a half degrees. Um, so I can actually go and mark that on here. And we're not gonna mark in that whole thing because we know that's where our fix is. So there we go. And this gives us this nice little thing we call the cocked hat. It's this little triangular looking thing. It's not quite a triangle because the lines are actually curved. We know that our position is actually somewhere kind of in the middle of that. So I'm just going to put a little dot there to indicate where we think we are. That is going to be our fix. So now if we figure out our position, that dot, measure it up. That's at about 47 degrees north. And using the appropriate la longitude scale. It's at about 93 degrees west. So let's write that in. 47 degrees north by 93 degrees west. And when we compare that to what the actual answer is, we find out that we actually have it within less than half a degree of latitude and longitude to the actual answer. So actually not too bad, considering the sort of rough uh, scale we have on something like this.